People usually find psychobiography to be a puzzling endeavor. The word always throws them for a bit of a loop, but um, really it's a pretty simple process. Uh, it's just an attempt to understand a person, which is what we're all doing all the time. We're always trying to understand the people that are in our lives or the people that are creating problems for us or even the people that we love. Um, so psychobiography is really no different from the sorts of things we do all the time, uh, day to day, when we try to understand people that are important to us. The only real um, distinctive thing about psychobiography is that uh, you're using, when you're, when you're a psychobiographer, you're using psychological theory and research knowledgeably and judiciously and uh, thoughtfully and taking all that theory and those research findings that have been developed from the field of psychology and essentially aiming them in this careful focused way on a particular life and seeing how those theories and findings illuminate the life. So what makes it a little bit different is just the background and psychological knowledge that the psychobiographer has when he or she is trying to figure out someone like Hitler or Sylvia Plath or Picasso or Van Gogh or in my case Truman Capote or Diane Orbis, people like that. Um, but the impulse to understand people, <laughs> that's always present. Everybody has that impulse. Psychobiographers have that impulse too. Uh, they're just they're just pursuing the impulse in a way that's maybe a little bit more formal or technical, but it's all coming from the same place, just an interest in people who are mysterious and for whatever reason important to us. And my answer always to the question of what's the value of psychobiography to the field of psychology is that I think it's really important to, I think psychobiography is essentially an applied field. So I think it's really important to take knowledge that the discipline of psychology has generated, usually by doing scientific experiments. Psych psychology is a scientific uh, uh, discipline. But I think it's really important to take that knowledge and sort of test it out on a real life, a real person not just leave it on a shelf or leave it in some ethereal place where it's never um, utilized, but it's, it looks beautiful and it looks pristine and stuff. Instead, I think it's really valuable to, to take it and say, okay, what does it, how does it really work to make sense of this person or that person or this other person? Does it really, answer questions that we want to have answered about a person as opposed to it just limply lying there and uh, being really fascinating in an abstract way. So psychobiography, it's, it's basically a form of case study. Uh, it's unlike a lot of other uh, types of psychology because most psychology is not focused on individuals. It's more geared towards identifying laws of behavior that are going to apply across the board to everybody. Um, so most psychologists are focused on universal patterns, but I think there's a really important place for the individual too in psychology and s focusing the findings on individual lives now and then, not all the time, but now and then to see whether or not those findings reveal something that is valuable and that we really want to know about the person that we're investigating.